Paul Woodford here, founder of Extra Life, just bringing you a, another video, slightly different this time though. We're gonna bring you a 20 minute one this morning. So I hope you enjoy it. And the same as always with the members, if you get yourself straight on the dashboard and add that to your dashboard. If you're not a member yet, then check us out at extralife.com, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and uh, get involved. Hope you enjoy it. So I'm gonna start on the floor with the first one. We're just gonna lie face down this time. And you're just gonna press up and come back down. Press up and back down. Obviously, only go as far as you can go. So you might find that that feels like a stretch or you might be able to go even further than that and almost back. Whatever feels comfortable and nice as a stretch. Just pushing the arms up and then relaxing back down. Still under control though, pushing up, relaxing back down. I'm well past halfway, it's nearly done in fact. And the next one is gonna be an alternating pigeon. So we're gonna get a bit of movement into it. I still don't know why they call it the pigeon, but what we're gonna do is you pop one knee in, you feel that stretch on the glute the bum cheek on the side that you bent in and then bring it in swap so as soon as you feel the stretch just swap and like I said it should be right in there and swap and you can see once I'm into it I just lean down a bit more to get a bit more out of the stretch there. And again, flying through this minute, 45 gone already. And then we're going to go into the cat stretch. All the animals today, right, all of fours. I just want you to arch right up, arch that back up as high as you can. And then dip and lift the head. So you can see, I don't move the arms or the legs at all. The arms stay straight and I arch right up. And dip back down. This is a lovely one. If you've been sat at a desk a lot, which I'm sure a lot of us have recently, Just up and down. Forty-five gone already. Right up, right back down. There, and back. Next one, up onto your toes. We're going to step forward. Hopefully, you've got the seam height for it. Lunge a little bit. Bring the arms up nice and high. Come back, nice and high. And as you go there, you should feel it running down that leg. Well, running down that side and into that leg. So anyone that knows the calf stretch, it's a bit like an exaggerated calf stretch, but actually that allows it to kick into the hip flexor. But just watch your balance. If it's as bad as mine, then Step a little bit wider, spread your toes, and that'll just give you a bit more balance. 45 gone already. Next one, I'll show you in a second. Right, you're gonna feet wider than a normal squat, if that means anything to you, you're gonna squat down. You're just going to push your arms against, so I'm pushing out just slightly and you'll feel it right near the thigh. And then you're going to stand up and ping the arms nice and high. Come back down and just pushing against again, pushing right against the knees and then stand up. If you feel dizzy by bringing the arms up above your head, 
don't bring your arms up, we'll just have a rest, it's fine. So push, should feel lovely, right into the groin. Stand, and you can squeeze your bum nice and tight when you stand. Big circle, back down. Come up, rotate it around. There, and up. Good work, next one, onto the floor. What are we gonna do? Spread the arms out. You bend one leg up. You rotate it as far over as it will go. Watch me smash the telly. All good. That's when you realise. Is it doing a bit more hoovering? So just what I'm doing is trying to keep the hands down and the chest down. When the leg comes up, just rotate it over and again. Big stretch down this side here. So just there and back. I'll give you two options on the next one. Uh, a medium and a hard. It's going to be a step round with an arm rotation. We're going to pop up into that one now. So you pop up. You just step right up close to your little finger. And then the easy option is to turn this hand. So I'll do a few of these. This hand. So the hand closest to the foot. And the tougher one is there. Because obviously then all your balance is running down the one side. So you can almost hear me concentrating on my balance. Nice rotation there. And just get your head into finding that balance and rotating. So they're the tougher ones. And then the easier ones. Are there. So you choose, depending on how you're feeling today or what your flexibility is like. Nearly there with this one. Now this one gets a few people just getting into it. Leg straight, bend one, cross it over the top of the other one, roll over, and then from here, keep that knee down, just open out as far as you can go, and come back again. Open out, and come back. What you'll find, as you go to go like that, you'll either stop, or your knee will might want to roll up. So you only go as far as you can with your knee planted on the floor. So you just rotate the upper body, come back down, rotate. And when we swap sides, you see you'll probably find one side is much better than the other. And we'll do that in 10 seconds. So just keep it nice and controlled and that front knee down. And then when I unhook, just straighten the legs and then step the other leg over the top and then rotate and you can see it's hooked in and then I'm just gonna open out come back keeping that knee down as I said just that one's a much worse halfway through like I said, make sure you keep that knee planted and that's the kind of the marker point for how far you can go with the upper body then. 20 seconds. And the next one's a lovely stretch. Here we go, 10. It involves a bit of rolling. Right, you unhook, and then you grab all your legs. And then all you're gonna do is roll forward, let the legs go out, and then lean through the middle of them. This one, be careful. Just only, you might find you feel it down the back of your legs just here, or you might be super flexible and get your head on the carpet. So just roll right through the middle. Roll. There. 
It should feel lovely. That on the lower back, and that on the back of the legs into the hamstrings. And then the last one, it's gonna be very chilled. So this one, I'm just gonna line it back. I pull one leg in, and then the other. So just relax your breathing. If you are using this video to then start something more vigorous, then you can do these a little bit quicker. If you're doing it just to chill out, just hug for a bit longer. Hug them in nice and tight. And this is just stretching out all down here. Twenty seconds, like I said, you can do it faster if you're on to another session after this. Ten seconds. Done. Careful getting up. And there's ten minutes, so we're halfway through. So take a little breather before we kick into the second half of the video. First one, what I want you to do is legs nice and wide. I want you to walk out, I want you to bring your feet together. Step one, step the other. Walk back up your wide feet. Walk out, bring your feet together. Step one, I'm coming right up by my little finger, trying to step close to it, not on it. The workout's gonna be hard enough without stepping on your toes. There. Step, step, walk back up. 40 seconds gone. Step, step. So, 10 seconds. Step. Walk back up. Now, we need to squat down nice and low. And obviously, you haven't got much space. Doesn't matter. Well, I'm super low. Some of you will go lower, I'm sure. I'll show you. Sideways on. Yeah, that's how low. You might get lower if you want, but it's that crab walk. So you drop low. If your knees are feeling it, then don't go as low. But if you're not feeling it, go even lower. Like my voice did this thing. Just keep it going. You should feel it burning in the thighs. You got a massive lounge, just crack on going that way for ages, it's fine. If you haven't, just do small steps, it might just be one, one, but keep low. And then this one's nearly over. Good. Next one, top of a plank position, and then all I want you to do is tap. Checking if you still got your keys and your wallet, making sure that your hips don't sag too low and your bum's not up in the air. So you're locked in tight, you're just tapping, tapping. Making sure, like I said, not too much dipping going on. You should feel this in the shoulders a little bit, triceps, but also in your stomach. Your lower back should feel good. If it doesn't, have a breather and reset yourself. Nearly there. Good. Next one. Nice and long stride up on your toes on the back leg. Foot planted on the back knee. Come back up. Nice and controlled. Mind your balance. Spread. 
that foot as much as you can and push all of that foot into the floor. Up and down. Probably doesn't feel too bad yet. But we're gonna do a minute on each leg. That's halfway. Keep the body upright as you can see. I'm not leaning forwards or backwards. And the key to a good lunge is you let the back knee bend and the front one has to follow. And as you can see, if you move your head about like I am, your balance goes all over the place. Five seconds. Swap it over. Big step back. Nice and upright. And you might find one side feels a bit weaker than the other. That's normal. But same principle, bend the back knee, front one follows. Body nice and upright, breathing all over the shop. That might just be me. Halfway. As soon as I turn my head, there it goes. It fell over. 20 seconds left. Ten. Nice. Now I want you to drop into a decision here. You have your hips as wide as you like. So your hips as high as you like. And you can if you want. You can bend your arms, straighten them, bend them. At no point can your bum touch the floor. Keep it going. If you haven't got much room, just as long as you're moving, we can move side to side if needs be. Fifteen seconds of this one left. Don't let that bump touch the floor. Next one, a bit easier on the lungs, but here, just squeeze, come it down, squeeze, come it down. This leg stays in line with this one. So it's as if I've just lifted, locked it in, I'm going up and down. You just try and keep it going. If it gets too much, just have a little breather. It's fine. Come back into it there. Let's get this minute done. And most people have probably started with their stronger leg, which means the next minute might be quite interesting. Fifteen seconds left. Nearly there. Swap it over, lock it in there. So you can see, like I said, leg just goes up, keeps in line. Push up, come back down. Try to create a triangle again, a bit like a normal bridge with both legs down. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds, then we're going to pop straight over into shin taps. Five. So, from here, tap, tap. You can see I'm coming back to an upright plank position each time. I'm not just tapping my hands there. It's there and back. 
and back. Some of you will be way more flexible than me and will be touching right down into your ankle rather than the middle of your shin. But I don't want to show off because I can't when it comes to flexibility. You've got 20 seconds. Ten. Nice, and now slow, controlled mountain climbers. Shin really close to the floor. You've got to be careful of your lower back. If it starts to hurt, hang out here, or just take all the pressure off and rest there. Slow, shin parallel, shoulders forward, and start sweating on your carpet, halfway. And then one more exercise. Nearly there. Then we're gonna fry the core by coming straight off this, straight in to a plank. Let's see the minute out. Again, if it starts to hurt your back, you can have a little breather up here, or you can drop to your knees and rest, or you can do the plank in that position there, should you wish. Right, 40 seconds, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Hands can go floor or clasp together, it's entirely up to you. Fifteen seconds left. I must remember to open a window next time. It's hot in there. Five seconds. Done. Good effort, everyone. Smashed it. So, like I said, if you remember already of Exa Life, please add this to your exercise section on your app so that you can see how much you're doing. If you're not, please get signed up. Please spread the word everywhere. Have a look at our website, which is exalife.com. Have a look at YouTube. Have a look at Facebook. Have a look at Instagram. And we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers.